स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज एन सी आर टी एक्सरसाइज प्रॉब्लम टू पॉइंट ट्वेंटी एट फ्रॉम पेज नंबर सेवेंटी ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम सो लेट्स रीड दिस स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट एन अटोमिक ऑर्बिटल हैज एन इक्वल टू थ्री वॉट आर दी पॉसिबल वैल्यूज ऑफ एल एंड एम एल सेकेंड लिस्ट दी क्वांटम नंबर एम एल एंड एल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन फॉर थ्री डी ऑर्बिटल्स एंड द थर्ड वन इज विच ऑफ दी फॉलोइंग ऑर्बिटल्स आर पॉसिबल ओके सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन यू आर हैविंग थ्री पार्ट एंड लेट सी दी फर्स्ट पार्ट फर्स्ट so in first part you are having atomic orbital n equal to 3 and you have to tell the possible values of l and ml right so if i am having n that means orbit equal to 3 the value of l will be 0 to n minus 1 right so 0 to the value of n is 3 minus 1 so 0 to Two. Let's write zero one two. M L will be minus L two plus L. In this question, we are having three values of L. Let's see the first one. If L equal to zero, surely M L will be zero, right? If L equal to one, in that case, M L will be minus one two plus One right, so minus one zero plus one. Now, if L equal to two, in this case, M L will be minus two two plus two, right? Minus two minus one zero plus one and plus two, right? Now let's see the second question. List the quantum numbers M L and L of electrons for three D. orbital in this question we have to tell about the value of ml and l right so you can write over here 3d right in this case this 3 represents the orbit right so it is the value of n and d will tell about the value of l now if the value of l is 0 it is s orbital if the value of l is 1 it will represent one of the p orbital if the value of l is 2 it will represent d orbitals and if the value of l is 3 it will represent f orbitals right so in this case d will represent the value of l that means the value of n equal to 3 and the value of l will be Two. In this case, we have to tell about the value of M L also. So surely, M L will be minus L two plus L. That means minus two two plus two. So minus two minus one zero plus one plus two. If you see the third question, in this question you have to tell about the possible orbitals, right? So we are having four orbitals and. out of these four orbitals which of the following orbitals are possible you have to tell about that in third question there is a very basic rule that the value of n is never be equal to the value of l l is always less than n that means if i am having n equal to 1 in that case l will be n minus 1 that means 1 minus 1 equal to 0 now let's see the first problem so the first one is 1 p right first of all we will see the value of n that is obviously 1 to determine the value of l we will see if l equal to 0 it will represent s orbital if l equal to 1 it will represent p orbitals if l equal to 2 it will tell about d orbitals if l equal to 3 it will tell about f orbitals right in this case this p orbital will tell about the value of l now in this we are having n equal to 1 and definitely l is also 1 which is not possible that means 1 p orbital is not possible now the next one is 2 s surely this 2 will represent the value of n and s will tell about the value of l so in this case n equal to 2 and l is 
surely zero because if the value of l equal to zero it will represent s orbitals right so surely this orbital is possible so you can write 2s orbital is possible for this quantum number right now the next one is 2p obviously in this case n equal to 2 and l equal to for p orbitals l will be 1 right so 2p orbitals are also possible the next one is 3f in this case n equal to 3 l equal to 3 also okay so we know that n is never be equal to the value of l so 3f orbital is not possible 